Welcome in everyone to the Odds Shopper Network. I'm Rod Gomez, back with another day of Women's World Cup action and betting picks. Kind of an eventful night last night, right? U.S. playing Netherlands to a 1-1 draw, much to the heartbreak of many USA fans. And of course, for the U.S., it was the first draw since 2015, their first loss in a very long, or their first non-win rather in a very long time. I guess 1-1 tie is sort of a loss, but uh, yeah, definitely heartbreak for them. But want to call out one person in particular in our comment section on the video fight hub 4305 called out USA one Netherlands one. And that was before the game even started. So uh, fight hub 4305 certainly hope that you bet that because you are a very happy person now that you're holding a winning ticket, especially on an exact score. Those are pretty good payouts. Uh, also good payouts for us, Portugal, Vietnam, Portugal winning two to nothing, but more importantly, keeping it under that two and a half goal limit that we set on that game, cashing that ticket. Australia losing a surprising one to Nigeria, three to two. But again, good for us. Three of those goals came in the second half, cashing that most goals in the second half ticket for us. Going to try to keep that momentum rolling as we head into tonight, where Argentina is taking on South Africa, England taking on Denmark early in the morning, and China taking on Haiti later on as well. We're going to explore a few different markets that we haven't been able to explore uh, so far. And, you know, with Bet365 and some of those other books out there giving us these di different types of markets, these diverse markets, we're going to have some fun kind of picking into those and seeing what we can do with them. We'll tell you more about what Bet365 Bet can do for you later in the show. But let's get started with the bets. Argentina, South Africa. We're going to take both of these teams to score at plus 120. That's over on Bet365. South Africa has scored at least one goal in the last five games going all the way back to October. But really, more importantly, South Africa has allowed 10 goals in that span as well. They gave up four against Australia, so we know the teams can score against this South Africa team. They have only shut out one team so far, and that's Costa Rica. So uh, again, Every other team has scored against them except for Costa Rica, uh, and so we expect that trend to continue. Argentina has scored in six of their last seven games this year. The only time they were shut out was earlier this week against Italy. So, again, they had a good scoring streak going into their first World Cup game. But, again, with uh, South Africa giving up a lot of goals, we think that Argentina will be able to do that. Uh, and Argentina has only allowed two goals in the last seven games. So it may be tough for South Africa to score on them, but we've seen them score in each of their last five games, which means the potential is there for that to happen. So we're going to take both Argentina and South Africa to score at plus 120 over on bet 365. Let's turn our attention to England versus Denmark. We're going to hit the corners market for the first time in this video series. We're going to take over Nine and a half corners for the entire game for both teams at minus 105. You can find that over on DK. England has combined for the over on this number in five of their last seven games. And it's not been close, honestly, because in three of those, they've actually surpassed this number all by themselves. They had 13 against Portugal, which is their highest. 58 corners this year. In seven games, that is a lot of corners <laughs> awarded for one team. So again, this is a massive amount of corners for England and we get corners by getting shots, right? England is shooting a lot. They are averaging 21 shots per game. They've had four games this season with more than 20 shots and two of those with over 30. So this team is shooting a lot, which is why they're getting awarded a ton of corners we're going to take advantage of that market as well. Denmark, they've combined for the over in five of the last seven. They had 16 corners against Uruguay. They're averaging 10 shots per game in their last seven games. So give us England and Denmark over nine and a half corners on the game at minus 105. Again, you can find that over on DraftKings. But let's talk about 365 for a second. Bet 365 is where you can bet on the Women's World Cup. They're available in over 100 countries worldwide and have started to make some noise in the U.S., especially with their market-leading sign-up bonus. You can get that in New Jersey, Ohio, Colorado, Virginia, and Iowa. If you're in the U.S., you can bet a dollar on the Women's World Cup and get $200 in bonus bets whether you win or you lose. Once you've signed up, you can also take advantage of their soccer parlay bonus. 
offers payout boosts of up to 70% on your World Cup parlays. You can also sign up at Bet365 outside of the U.S. from over 100 countries with our international link below. And welcome offers are going to vary depending on your region. As an international bookmaker, no sports book has more experience in creating solid markets for soccer, making this your best option to place these bets. All right, let's talk about China and Haiti. We're going to take the over two and a half goals at, on this one. That's at plus 125 over on Bet365. This one, again, it, it's a little difficult sometimes to take the over on these as we've seen a lot of 1-1, one, one, one nothing games. But for China, they've combined for the over in three of their last five games on this number. China has scored five goals in that span and given up seven goals. So there's a lot of goals in these games for China, which leads me to believe that they're at least going to score a couple, if not give up a couple. But Haiti has combined for the over in four of their last five games. They've scored seven goals and, ironically, given up seven goals as well. So, uh, again, there's a lot of goals in these games for both of these teams. So we're going to combine for the over two and a half goals on this one. Plus, we've actually seen uh, our fair share of goals over the last few games. Right, We had 10 goals scored a couple of nights ago. Uh, and, of course, earlier this morning, Australia and Nigeria combined for five in and of themselves. So, uh, again, well, I think the over is in play for China and Haiti. All right, let's go over the bets for this night's action, this morning's action, whenever you watch your games. Argentina, South Africa, we're going to take both of these teams to score at plus 120 over on Bet365. We're going to say that England and Denmark are going to have over nine and a half corners in their game. This one's at minus 105 over on DraftKings. And then we're going to take China and Haiti to have over two and a half goals in the game combined at plus 125 over on Bet365. Let's have some fun. A three-game slate for you again tonight or this morning, uh, as it were. We're having, uh, like I said, we're coming off of a pretty good night, two of three of the bets. So let's keep that momentum rolling. Hopefully you guys cash and holding a winning ticket. If you have good bets, like uh, Fight Hub 4305 did, in in the comment section go ahead and leave those as well uh like subscribe and do all that for all shoppers so we'll be back again with more action tomorrow until then good luck and we'll see you next time